and it breaks. I can't believe I'm just shaking so much during this plate up. This is not like me. This is actually so much pressure. 10 seconds. I get another one. And in the last seconds, I get the stem into the apple. You okay. good? Yeah, we're good. All right, bring it over, mate. <laughs> oh, man, you killed me over here. I, think I held my breath the entire five minutes. <laughs> Reynolds, keeping the pressure going right to the very last second. To be honest with you, all that stands between you and the grand finale is this dish right here. How do you think you went today? Smoothly until I popped open that mold and realized the apple was meant to fill it. So these little minor things can send anyone home. But besides the shape, I think the texture is quite similar. Talk to me about winning. Why do you want to win this? Um. Before coming here, coming for this tasting, um, sucking in how important this is. I haven't had an easy life as an immigrant. Um, I'm not the kind of person to kind of talk um, too deep, because I keep it in, I keep it in a little box to kind of back it away. So you'll never see me get emotional until I speak about it. Um, my mum and dad, both very hard workers, my brothers as well. Yeah, it's one of those things like, no matter how hard my family works, there's always something that kind of knocks us down. Take a moment, take a moment. Yeah, I hate take, this. Take a, take yeah. a moment, take a deep breath. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, we do have koi. People think it's successful, it is, it's great. I guess there were moments the way we took the success for granted. Um, I'm not gonna go too into much details and now there's a lot of things that we're trying to keep our head up high. Try to maintain our image. People see it as like, oh, this is a bar product is so great, but why is it that we're still struggling? So that's the sad part about this business. It's like, hospitality industry has never been easy. I didn't come on here for the fame or anything like that. I came on here because I love to cook. The only thing I'm good at is not, <laughs> is not studying. I wish I was. <laughs> I, wish, I really wish I was. Join the club, mate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So winning, it's not about the title. It's more about like being able to give back to my, to my family. I've got to say, mate, it's inspiring to, to hear you open up about it. And there is no greater driving force than your family, especially at times like this, where Obviously, it's tough for, for your business and at this time in COVID, and it's, it's been tough for the industry as a whole, let alone uh, yeah. our pastry business. So I can only imagine. You made me emotional saying that. I mean, look, there is that part of um, what it means to be a migrant kid and to, to not feel like you fit in and to feel like you have to push against so much to get to where you are going. And I don't want you to forget the amount of people out there that will see you and see what's possible. Don't discount the hope that you give for everybody who is really pushing to realise a dream. It really has just been the most incredible thing to watch you up close and to really understand why you do what you do, because the motivator is, it's huge. Reynold, no matter what happens, mate, um, we are all extremely proud of you. The only thing left to do is test it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Reynold. Thank Thanks, Reynold. Thank Look, apart from the obvious tiny apple, 
I think the dish looks really, really lovely. The colours especially, those raspberry twills look extremely good. And the stem as well just sticks out. It looks like a perfect, real apple stem, doesn't it? Even the way that he's cut it at a 45 degree angle, it looks like it's just been plucked off the tree. Very, very skilled work. But um, the apple is a little bit smaller than what I put on the plate. How does it feel? Feels good. This is a big tasting, isn't it? There's so much writing on this mouthful of food. This is a big tasting, isn't it? At this end of the competition, it is point degrees of distinction between each of them. And I think however he got to the tiny apple, it still looked the business. It was glossy, it was shiny, it had some bite to it, which was really lovely. I had the small persimmon pumpkin leaf and mine was really crunchy and really fantastic. The raspberry leaf, I think, has to be the best one of the day. You have to make that raspberry the right acidity is is a magic yeah where i got unstuck was the bitterness of the caramel it wasn't as bitter as others you just didn't get that with reynolds it was nice to start but then it kind of the sweetness took over i think he really went hard on that caramel early and then it started to really burn around the outside and then he's diluted that with his sugar again and it just hasn't got that same depth of bitterness all the way through. The issue is when you don't make the caramel bitter enough, it becomes lollipop sweet. When you were explaining a dish to the guys this morning, you spelt it out quite clearly. Salty, sweet, bitter, sour, umami. Has to be balanced. And the caramel here is really one of two sticking points for me. I think for me it was just a leaf. Well, as you've seen, it was bendy. Yeah. It was more like a, a fruit leather than it was a leaf. At the end of the day, it is another excellent dish, but there are uh, some differences here compared to the other two for me, for sure. Reynold is certainly a perfectionist. You can see that in the way he works. Mm. And sometimes he probably overthinks it from what I was seeing by just changing slight things out of the recipe that... Trust the process. Exactly. So we always knew that the pumpkin leaves are the ones that will, will bring you down if they do. Um, and he had a small apple as well. Yeah. Yeah. This was a pressure test that will go down in history. Three of the best contestants ever to walk this kitchen. Recreating Martin Ben's never seen before toffee apple. Man, it put you three through the ringer. I am so proud of all three of you that you could get that done to the level that is technically difficult for a chef that does it every day. I commend you, you all deserve to be here. Thank you. Let's thank Martin for creating one of the best pressure tests we've ever seen.
on the line today is a place in the MasterChef Back to Win finale. But only the makers of the two best dishes will get there. All of you did an incredible job. One of you shone more than others. The layers of your apple, the bitterness of the caramel, near perfect leaves. But more importantly than all of that, Martin said he would serve their dish in his restaurant. That dish belongs to the first person going into the finale, Emilia. Twenty twenty back to when grand oh finale. <laughs> I can't believe I cannot believe this. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing to see the dedication you put into that cook, the technical ability that you have for what you do. It's just an amazing achievement. Well done. You should be so proud, <laughs> Emilia. Yeah. I'm so, Ooh. so, so happy for you. I'm truly stunned. It's like this laser moment of everything I've been working for has come true. I can't believe I'm in the finale. Thank Very you. Very well done. Thank you. Martin Ben strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> quite catchy, actually. I quite like that. <laughs> OK, so it comes down to you, Reynolds and Laura. Reynolds. Your apple may have been a little bit small, but the balance of colours was the best of the bunch. And your stem was perfect. Laura, your apple looked a little bit more like a pear. But most crucially, it was cooked to perfection. You took that caramel to the bitter edge that makes Martin's dish so special. The decision had to come down to whose dish was the closest to Martin's in both flavor and balance. Laura, we unanimously agreed that yours ate better and was closer to Martin's. And that's why you're in the grand finale. And Reynold, I'm sorry to say, that means you're going home. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Reynolds, to us, you embody what this competition is all about. Your obsession with excellence and your relentless pursuit for perfection is what makes you one of the brightest and most promising stars of the MasterChef universe, as well as the Australian food industry. This season, you have given us some of the most memorable dishes that this kitchen has ever seen. Mind blowing. We cannot thank you enough for that. This competition has given so much. I'm so happy to be here, like really. Um, second chance is going to come around often. And it has been an absolute amazing experience.
Randall, mate, you just got to celebrate how well you've done in this competition. You've inspired all of us, and I'm so proud of you, mate. Thanks. Thank you. Reynolds, it's been a privilege to spend time with you. We all can't wait to see what's next for you. But now, it's time to say goodbye. Thanks, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Hold on. It's a bloody double night. <laughs> devastated. I really believed that I could win. But even though I didn't win, I'd say it was all worth it. It was all a journey. Ah. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I know from here on, it's nowhere but up.